You just destroy that bad man? No. Unfortunately, I got that out earlier in the day. And it didn't do anything because I currently weigh 210.3 after pooping and peeing. So that means I'm probably like 213, 214 right now. Which doesn't make any fucking sense. Basically means like I'm pregnant. I don't want to talk about how I got pregnant. It's just happening. Yeah, she did you dirty. What? Katie did you dirty? Got she, you did. she gave me a butt baby. <laughs> Dude, I could always get hit on but for your cars. Me? Yeah. Dudes always want to kiss me when they see my cars. Broncos. They're like, is that a 4x4? Four four? Get over here and give me a big old thing. Oh, how big are those tires, Daddy? <laughs> those 37s? <laughs> those 37s? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. You know how it goes, dude. I swing both ways. Hey, Mommy. That girl was checking us out. You see that? Uh -uh. Not even the guy was checking us out. That was a chick checking us out this time. Woo! <laughs> we got one! <laughs> yeah! My, current, my ratio right now is like 8 to 2. 8 to 2, 8 dudes will pick up on me. Maybe 2 chicks. I'm feeling pretty good about those two, though. <laughs> That's 80%. We just got to Bridges' house. This is our second session with him. Uh, now we're really getting back into running. Uh, we have just under three weeks left until we go over to Germany. I've got my passport appointment tomorrow. I don't want to tell you how you guys I got it, but uh, let's just say I'm not proud of what I did. Um, so I think the best thing I can do right now is just get with Rich, pump on the treadmill as hard as I can, get my running mechanics back. Currently I'm weighing in at like 210 pounds. I need to take a couple big dumps before I go over to Germany because that's not good. Mm -hmm. I'm not bad. I mean, I'm, I'm a fucking beast. What can I say? <laughs> uh, and uh, I think just working out with Rich though, if I can get my center of mass underneath me much better, uh, much more cleanly, and then I get just my stamina more dialed in, I should be like unstoppable. But it takes training, not just talking about it. Gotta be about it, bruh. Bro. Bro. This Starbucks. This is sponsored by Starbucks. I wish Starbucks sponsored me. You're not gonna be worth filming. I gotta upload a bunch of shitty videos right now. This is basically the true life of an athlete. If you think everyone's just like working out and like eating and like has shredded six packs all the time, it's a lie. Ninety percent of my life is Instagram. Good. <clears throat> I had some thoughts. Yeah. I'm not dragging you around on the fucking bike. Oh, how did you even fucking know I was because listening I knew to that? that was like all you care about. I was like, God damn it. No, gonna... so, you know, here's the thing. Yeah. People get all caught up in this drag situation, and they don't realize the physics of it. That bike just turns out to put the appropriate amount of tug directly at your core, causes you to be more forward, gets you to lean with your knees, and it's just beautiful. It's just a real good, it's like the training device we have here with a little bit more tuck. Mm -hmm. And you know, so like, but I have an added value. What's that? So we do, we do a little bit of work like on the ski erg. Yep. Come off the ski erg, hit the, hit the, the, the dragger coach around the block, come back, maybe hit it again. Take a couple rounds like that. <laughs> I mean, we're trying to get ready for Berlin, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what those people in Berlin aren't doing? Nothing. Dragging my ass around the block. That's not what they're doing. The Germans are lazy at heart. I'm just saying. I'll get my shoes on. Trying to get in shape. Alright everybody, we're going up for two. One, two, and sit it. Up again. Keep that aerobic system up nice and high, guys. I want you lifting from the core, accentuating the quads and just working through those triceps as we stand it up. Feel that beat, get that sweat, baby. Let's go. Oh yeah. Let's get a nice push, this beat's sick. Oh. 
I was, a, I was a mega good trainer. I was like, let's go. Girl's like, yeah, daddy, tell me what to do. I'm like, fuck yeah. I'm like, hey, bitch, in the back. Get your shit together. <laughs> I see you hiding, Karen. God damn it, Karen. We had this conversation. So this is the infamous chase bike. This has followed many an athlete on the road. And this is the interval bell right here. Let's people know it's time to go. So what's unique about this, as opposed to say dragging a tire or what have you, is that I'm gonna have him attached to this nice thick rubber band and he's gonna be about yay far away Beyond the hill. But what's interesting is the pull is going to be almost just below his hips. So the line of pull is consistent with him driving and pulling from the hips. As opposed to what would happen if he had a tire to drag, which would be coming at an angle something like this, which causes you to stoop. You don't want to stoop if you're running on mechanics. You want to work on your running mechanics. You want to have all this forward drive through the hips. And the, uh, the bike provides that. The tire does not. If you want to be a plow horse, get yourself a big tire. You want to be a race horse, get yourself a fat coach to drag you around the block. So we're going to get a little exhausted on one of these devices hit the 1K, come back, and repeat. First, we'll warm them up. Let's get you on the treadmill, big guy. Yeah. I thought what might be appropriate. Stupid fucking booties. Go for, we're gonna, we're gonna hit it. Let's go concept two first. Let's go 250 hard on the bike, round the block. I ran for like 30 seconds. You're ready, we're gonna warm up on the concept two. I beat your time earlier today, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah. You know what I mean? I want to get some running form intervals before we leave here. What do you think this is? Well. So the beauty of this is when I start water skiing, yeah. That's when it gets entertaining. So check this out. Get a little lateral torque. Get a Come on, man. Put some. Put some. I'm on the brakes here. You know. Trying to get some stink on this thing here. Let's go. If you guys were spending more time on the training and your cameras, you would realize that I only ran for 90 seconds on your treadmill. All right, we're gonna warm up right now. Let's get up this hill. Now jump on the bike. Hold on a second. I'll do two and a half, two minutes. He's got to piss again. You ready? Listen, dude, if you drink 100 ounces of water in the morning, you're going to have some trouble. I drink water, so he doesn't understand why people pee as much as I do. Yeah, I will. 
when them curly hairs start to fall out, you'd be looking at that scotch. And you'd be begging me for one of my pretty smells. I, uh, I think I got a good hairline in me. Yeah. Unless lightning strikes me down. Your only answer got a full head of hair? Yeah. It's actually based off of your mother's father. My mother's father is 90. I'd say over 50% of his hair is still dark. I feel like I got like a stick in my ass. Okay. Stabbed it with something yesterday. It's killing me. Let's go. <laughs> We're facing this way. I'm gonna bring it right up to the 12. Are we done running outside? We're gonna do this first. Next time we'll, we'll take it first. Uh, you get in. Oh. We're at 12.5. I want to hold you there for two minutes. Then we're going to hit the pipe. And then we're going to go through the rough around the trip around the block. That's 30 seconds. Down for I want to, I want to blow this clock up. Do it, do it, get up, get up, get up. Okay, it takes a shortcut. Damn it. Let's do a cool down run. Ow. So all I gotta do is just double the length of that workout and I'll hold the world record. It's gonna be tremendously hard on those techno gym treadmills. 
I think it takes 20% plus more energy to run. Because you're pulling the belt? Yeah. You know, you aren't using, like, you know, contact and forward momentum. You're using pull and forward momentum. I think it's a novel idea to have a motorless treadmill. I just wish there was a way that they could do it without putting you in that situation. Huh. You know, there's a the treadmill that we're looking at from BJ. It's got a flywheel in it. And you can also do motorless work on it. Yeah. It's got a 30% grade. Yeah. No, no. 40% grade, 30 miles an hour is what the thing will do. But what happens is when you get on it, the flywheel takes over, takes the load off the motor. So it would be interesting if, if you get like momentum going with the flywheel and they bring the elevation out of it so you can just continue to run. I don't know if that's possible, but it's a good idea. What an adventure. What an adventure. I think a workout like this, like once a week, and then focus on the running and some other components isolated throughout the week is a winning formula. Yeah. Putting all these together too regularly is too taxing. Yeah, I know. It is blow up. Well, at a high level it is. I still do a lot almost every day. Like, I'll do another lot tonight. Just to get myself good at it. I don't go that hard though, I keep my heart rate below 145. Otherwise, it's just impossible to be able to hold the fitness. What is it now? 128. I don't go that bad. But doing a 100 wall balls at the end of a workout, you don't have like a couple thousand wall balls underneath you in the past like month or so, you'll get beat. Yeah, I think the being more proficient with that ball ball is money. But it was pretty crazy. Like he was nowhere near beating me, but Isaiah came in at the end and did a hundred ball balls tired, and he fucking wiped the field out. He was so far behind everybody, but he was just fitter. Like I told people, you can come close to the world record running a seven-minute mile in high rocks if you're a beast on everything else. I hold about a 5:45. To 559 the whole time and I'm a beast on everything else that's why I've got a good score but somebody like a top crossfitter could come in if they wanted to and do really well do I look dead? say say what did I look what do you think do I look sloppy do I look strong give me some honest interpretation I say there's a happy in the middle. Fuck. A little bit in the middle. Fuck. That's sad. That's good. It's progress to be had. Yeah. But you're not rock bottom. <laughs> not rock bottom. It's hard, dude. I mean, I'm just building back from taking myself of almost out of two years of running into into like running shape again. I didn't really start focusing on running until after Murph. I was only doing 10 miles a week while I was doing Murph. Now that I think back on it, I probably would have cut back a little bit on the calisthenics, up my cardiovascular stuff more so that I could have been fitter through it and my strength would have been consistent rather than super strong and my heart rate kind of popped and I couldn't recover. You gonna let me jump in your pool? Yeah. Pool party! Woohoo! I'm the only person who's swimming in the pool. It's clean. Oh, it's so bad. Just a, just a murderer. You eat everything, man. You gotta be careful. That's okay. Chew up the house. Well, I'm not worried about that. The rats are chewing up my house. At least I own the Jack Russell Terrier. I missed the diving board. Can you give me a sick trick? Hold on. I haven't got any kind of sick tricks. You want the flying squirrel? Yeah. What the fuck was that? Mm.
That was not a flying squirrel. Whoa. That was terrible. So jump up and get the knee in. The knee in there? I can't do it. Look at them things. <laughs> Damn, boy. Everyone's jealous of George of the Jungle. <laughs>